Hey everyone, James Niggemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I wanna to do a quick tips and tricks video on trailer hooks. Before I get right into it, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you like the content, please give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. So trailer hooks. I like to typically use my trailer hooks on buzz baits and spinner baits. And the reason that I would throw them is because typically we're kind of spawn, post-spawn, moving into early summer, and there's some things that the fish do, the behavior that the fish have, that I feel like is more conducive towards trailer hooks. The challenge with that is I really like a trailer on my spinner baits and buzz baits, whether it's a little swim bait, a split tail trailer, a single tail grub, I really like some sort of trailer on the back of my spinner baits or buzz baits because I just feel like I get more strikes and the trailer, in my opinion, gives the fish something to focus on, direct their attention. There's a lot of movement in the blades and buzz baits with that prop. So I wanna give the fish something to focus their attention on as well as some mass. So when they suck that bait in, that plastic, actually that, that, that density kind of goes into their mouth as opposed to just a hook and skirt. However, if I put a trailer hook on the back, for an example here, just kind of lacing this one on here, a lot of times when you're casting, that'll happen. It'll kind of get twisted over there and get kind of hung up. So I'm gonna go into some tips and tricks about trailer hooks, when and why and different things like that. So. When I throw a trailer hook is generally because I'm just getting short bumps or I'm getting strikes where I feel like, uh, you know, I'm reeling it through the water and I feel like, boom, I get a bump and no hookup. Or uh, I might be reeling that spinnerbait through the water and it just kind of goes sideways like that. And I feel like what's going on is there's probably a bass on a bed and he's just trying to run it out of the way. He's hitting it closed mouth. He really doesn't want to bite the bait but he's trying to get it out of the way, run it out of that bed, or maybe you came through a ball of fry and he's trying to do the same thing, closed mouth. And when you put a trailer hook on there, a lot of times that trailer hook will come out and get him on the side of the face or just on the side of the lip or in the mouth as he's trying to hit it. And then sometimes in the shad spawn, they go for the blades. And when you have that trailer hook, you can still hook them on the bottom lip. It's kind of like on, on a jerk bait. You've got three sets of hooks, Bass might come for the bait, but he gets the one out here or like a crankbait or a lipless crankbait. It's another way to kind of add another level of success or a degree of success to your spinnerbait or buzzbait fishing. I'm going to go over a couple different types of uh, spinnerbait trailer hooks or buzzbait trailer hooks. You can use uh, several different types. There's a, This is a Strike King Tour grade trailer hook. I think I'm out in one aught and two aught sizes. Cool thing about this trailer hook is it's got this little little rubber keeper on the top there. It comes with it on there. So this one's ready to go. And I like this typically for my like my buzz baits. So you just take that guy and just puncture it through that plastic. And then it goes on there. And this one is great because it has some rigidity to it. It kind of is not free swinging. It just it keeps it in the up position. And so if I did want to run a trailer, I could still do that. I generally like this more for my buzz baits. But I also like the free swinging type too. So if I'm running a spinner bait like this, I can take like a two watt. This is actually an owner cutting point spinner bait trailer hook, two watt right there. Packages are a little beat up. And it comes with a little bag of little rubber hose or tubing, plastic tubing, and they come in little sections like that. And you can just go ahead and cut them to size. I just kind of like, I like a little, little more compact size, kind of like that, if you can see that. So what I'm doing is I've just laced that spinnerbait trailer hook on there. And then I'm gonna run, um, I'm just gonna puncture it sideways. I'm not gonna put it through the hole I'm gonna puncture it sideways, and, and that way, this is never coming off. Give you a better look at that. This is never coming off. This is actually gonna stay in place, but this kind of swings more free. And the benefit to that swinging free is, let's say a, you're, you're fishing, you're, you're, you're running your spinnerbait straight like this, and a bass comes from the side, 
as it does, this hook will kind of swing free and can catch them. So a lot of times you'll catch, you know, throughout the year you'll catch spinnerbait fish and it'll be, you'll feel like he just missed the, uh, the hook. Well, that, and then you might have him hooked on the side of the mouth or under the chin and that you think, man, that spinnerbait trailer hook did the job. He probably didn't come right for the bait. He probably kind of hit it on the side or he, he here's another thing, he went for uh, the blades, he ate the blades. And when you set the hook, you pulled it up and it got him. And you might have both of them into him. Other guys call trailer hooks trap hooks because it kind of traps them, you know, keeps them from getting off when you might not have caught them otherwise. There's one more way to add your trailer hook to your spinnerbait that I feel like works well, and that's the trailer hook pow. And what comes in this package is a little metal applicator and then a bag of these tabs. They look like they're little plastic pieces, little circular plastic pieces that maybe they used a hole punch to punch them out of there, Other, but they're really nice and clean. They're perfectly round. What you do is you just set that plastic piece in this hole, boom, like that and it, it stays right in there. And then you just take your trailer hook and you just, you just lace it over the top just like you would normally. And then you got this, you take the applicator and you just run it straight through just like that. What I really like about this guy is you can kind of adjust it. You know, if you don't want it going past there, that works just like that. It's not going to run back over that bar. Once it's on there, I feel like it's on there for good and you can catch your fish on a trailer hook. So that's another way to add a trailer hook to your spinnerbait that is very handy, very clean, and quick and easy to do. I like to try to match the trailer hook to the size of the spinnerbait, little finesse spinnerbaits like this. I, I like to uh, you know get a smaller one, like a size one or one aught. And then if I'm going with a bigger spinnerbait, three eighths ounce, you know, bigger profile, bigger blades. I might go with a two odd or one odd or two odd, or maybe even a three odd. But it's important, I feel like, at least be open to the idea of throwing a trailer hook when bass are short striking or you're getting bumps. Another time it's real important to throw a trailer hook if you're fishing for spotted bass or smallmouth. They just have a tendency to want to kill their baits. They come at it weird, they come at it closed mouth. They've just got a lot of energy, they've got a lot of attitude. And so when they come at it, they come at it with speed and sometimes they don't always get the main hook and that trailer hook can, can catch you a few more fish where you didn't otherwise have the opportunity. So really guys, that's it. Just a couple of ideas, some tips and tricks on spinnerbait trailer hooks, buzzbait trailer hooks. Definitely feel like there's a time and place for them. Now, if they're getting that bait all the way, I don't even throw it. I don't even put it on there. But if they're, you know, just barely on the top lip or you're getting bumped a lot, no, and you're just missing fish, you definitely want to try a trailer hook. Thanks for watching my video. And until next time, good fishing.